This local sports report is presented by the Inn of Waterloo, a proud supporter of local sports. The Inn is open and is now offering gym and pool memberships to the KW community. Book a room, hit the gym, and go for a swim at the Inn, located at 475 King Street North in Waterloo. Call 519-804-1130 or visit the Inn of Waterloo. Com. That big goal that I'm working towards next is that NCAA Division I. That's where I want to be in the back of my mind. That's where I've had my goal set for the last, since I made Elmira, that was my big goal. Division One NCAA Hockey. That's the focus and long-term goal for Elmira's Keaton McLaughlin. How I'm going to get there, there could be a different routes, it could be different teams, it could be different steps along the way. Um, being able to kind of evaluate and adapt to those um, while continuing my training and my playing and knowing what I do well uh, is something that I plan to do. I've seen the, the amount of skill that comes out of NCAA Division I um, and it's impeccable. It's incredible and it's something it's like something that speaks to these programs so well as the players that are coming out of that. Um, and just being able to see that go on to the NHL, go on to Europe, go on to the cage, all right, um, is huge. McLaughlin is an 18-year-old forward who is known for his tenacity, work ethic, and team-first attitude. The physicality, uh, creating space, winning battles down low, and just dominating the half wall is something that I know that I've been working on out here and being able to get really good and really good at my strengths. On the ice, people don't like me. They don't like to play against me. If you've played against me, you probably know and you remember it. Um, here to say sorry, but not so much. Uh, but I am a nice guy and I, I get along. You ask any of the guys from our last year on my team, such a tight-knit group. That element of separation that he adds into his hockey IQ element is he does it at the right time. Right? I think uh, one of the big factors for him is he's an impact player, very high impact, where he's going to contribute something each shift, right? whether it's a hit, whether it's you know, a good forecheck, whether it's creating space, whether it's you know, something each shift that can really turn, turn the momentum in a game and stuff like that doesn't exist in, in all players. Right? He is a very high impactful player and that is his biggest differentiator for sure. Luke Beleshta is a former star player with the Elmira Sugar Kings. He won a Cherry Cup and Sutherland Cup title back in 2011, and he is McLaughlin's mentor. He does a little bit of something every day, right? His, his big thing is, is putting little pieces in, uh, in the position to increase his overall performance in his game, and he does something all the time. He's trying to better himself day in and day out, and when we're in here, whether it's with me or he's by himself, you know, he does a really, really good job at motivating and pushing himself. It's easy to do the right thing when people are paying attention, right? When, when people aren't watching behind the scenes, you know, what are you doing to help him improve yourself and he does that better than anybody else and he you know he, he does do the stuff when he's in here by himself you know early in the morning late at night when nobody's watching paying attention and those are those are things that separate yourself from from everybody else. Beleshta is proud to see McLaughlin's development over the last few years. They have formed a strong bond working together at Nexus Health and Training. Okay, we'll go across so we'll switch up we'll go back in forehand so we'll start hips forward at the same time we'll pull inside puck across, step out and release. Something that has pushed me and something that I know that will continue to push me is that, hey, Luke's poured this much into me, he's got a business here, and he's putting this much time into me. It's like, I'm gonna work and hold him, myself accountable to work for that as well. Together they focus on skill development, but also the mental side of the game. McLaughlin has a growth mindset and a never give up attitude. They are two things also helping McLaughlin in his journey. I know that I have the mindset and I know where it can take me and being able to understand where it can take me and seeing that is something I've held on to pretty close. I know I can hit, I'm always gonna have that, that physical side of the game. Let's start to get over onto the creative side and have some, some skill stuff set into play. Um, and COVID's been able to, it's given me so many opportunities to be able to get on the ice, um, get ice at different spots when we were allowed to as well. Um, and really just focus on myself, my training, my health, my mental game especially, and just being able to understand what I need to be and where I need to be to get to the next level. Growing up, single A was the highest level of hockey McLaughlin ever played, but that didn't deter him from pursuing his hockey dreams. I want people to know my story, where I came from, where I am now, where I plan to be. Um, I was never given a kick at that triple A spot. I never had that. When I realized that I wanted something, I went and got it. 
and I achieved it. And I think that in these years to come, I'm hoping to do the same thing. When I realize that I want that, that spot in the next couple of years, I'm hoping that that's the same thing that proves. And that hard work comes through, shines through above everything else. McLaughlin played one year of U18 hockey, and the following spring, he attended Prospects Camp with the Elmira Sugar Kings. He would make an impression and got the opportunity to participate in main camp. Then he got the call to the coach's office and found out he made the team and would suit up in the GOJHL. I was really overwhelmed. I got pretty emotional in the, in the coach's room because I knew that that's what I worked for. Um, and I think it was just for, for me and for the coaching staff and Block and Jeff and all the guys that were sitting there. Um, it was just like a congratulations, like you earned it sort of thing, which is a huge thing for me and I'll never forget it. He calls it an amazing experience playing for his hometown team in front of family and friends. When you put on the jersey and you sit down in the stall and you're ready to go, but when you're walking out of that tunnel and you got tons of fans, all the kids wanting to bump your glove and, and you're just walking out there and you're ready to go. Um, and then the support after goals, after hits, nice passes, right? It's just, it's electric. And I loved it every, every Sunday being able to go there and enjoy the games was something pretty special and something that I enjoyed a lot. McLaughlin enjoyed a solid rookie season and is thankful to the veteran players for their guidance and support. The Elmire team that I played for was elite. Um, playing with guys, Jeremy Goodwin, DeBecky, Toms, um, lots of really good 20-year-old players, lots of older guys. Uh, I think I settled in there pretty easily because of the old guys, um, the older, the veterans. They really took me in, took all of us rookies in. There was a couple rookies and playing through Elmire was just such a great experience. I learned a whole lot having Rob, especially as a coach, teaching me a lot each ice time. Um, and it was just, it was great. It's faster hockey. I got better, I got faster, I got stronger. In the coming weeks, McLaughlin is heading west to skate with a couple of teams in the BCHL. It's another opportunity to showcase his talents and a possible next step in his journey as he continues chasing his Division I dream. Going out for five weeks, try and get a crack at the BCHL and get an invite back and be able to go out there again and prove myself and say like, hey, this is where I was with Almara. This is where I'm right now putting in the work that I have been over these last six months of COVID. Um, I haven't stopped early and being able to prove that is something that's going to be huge for me. For more highlights, visit our website, 519sportsonline.ca. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.